Hey guys, I have had probably two, maybe 300 people ask me to do a video on straight investing, straight, like very basic investing, kind of how you do it. And for some reason, I also got the video sponsored by Webull as a comparison between the Webull and Robinhood formats. And it's not that I hate Robinhood, because um, I use Robinhood, but uh, they wanted me to do a video specifically about the comparison between Robinhood and Webull. And I figured, well, I, I've talked about it, but not in depth. And that's what this video is about, is to try to do a real teardown of why I think people should sign up to Webull. And you can still get two free stocks. So if you haven't signed up, please do it now. Because I guess they've got a couple more weeks and you can get two free stocks. And then after that point, it's only going to be one free stock. But beyond that, and it's what I really, it's really important to me to talk about, is the fact that for the most part, um, people have this really terrible issue with not investing on a regular basis. I've said it before, the best time to invest in the stock market, generally speaking, is yesterday. The second best time is today. And I will hold on to this for a very long time, even while we're dealing with all of these national news topics. I personally am throwing as much cash as I have into the market. Not all at once, but just on a staggered basis. It's called uh, the cost dollar averaging, I think it is. My hillbilly mind has a hard time processing big words while I'm uh, doing a video on YouTube. But essentially, you set aside X amount of dollars. And I've told people, you know, if you could save $10 a day, you would be very well off in the future. But essentially, you set aside X amount of dollars a day and you put it in the stock market in generally good investments. And later in the video, I will break it down to exactly what I invest in, like the actual stocks I'm buying for my kids, because everything that I'm telling you guys in this video is exactly what I'm doing for my children. And I, even way before the YouTube channel started, and it really upsets me that people say this, they say, oh, I wish you, I was your kids because they're going to inherit, you know, three laundry, each one of your kids is probably going to get a laundromat, and then, you know, we got the trailer park, and then I've got 90-some rentals, excluding the trailer park. As of today, I'm at 140 rentals, three laundromats, um, and of that, it's 46 trailers, 32 houses, and whatever that number is left over, um, those are multifamily properties. And they say, well, your kids are going to end up with all of these rentals and all this money. Money, and the reality is, no, they're not. Um, unless they have this huge passion for real estate, they're probably not going to get properties or not much of what my portfolio is. But what I am doing for my children, and let be specific about this, is I've opened up stock accounts for every single one of my children. The only one that I have is uh, Matilda, which is my 16-month-old baby. She does not have stock yet, but the rest of my kids do. And I am contributing to an investment account. It's specifically called a Universal Managed Trust Account, a UTMA. And I'm putting money on a regular basis for my kids. And to me, that's very important because by the time they take over their UTMA account, they will have a decent little nest egg. And even with the giant downturn in the market, they are still up. Um, it's a little, it's almost like a free fall situation where people are um, really scared. And that's because I have invested during up markets and down markets and in a wide variety of things. So here, um, I want to show you guys uh, what I like about Robinhood. And in a nutshell, their interface is very slick. It's very easy and user-friendly, especially if you're the kind of person that's never invested in the stock market before. Their interface is just so easy to use. And for those that I've talked to that do a lot of like margin-type trading, their interface is very, very easy to use. That's it in a nutshell. Now I'm going to show you guys what I like about Webull. So unlike my Robinhood account, this one has some green in it, meaning my AGNC purchases are actually up. In this case, this is my silly little influencer account where I track uh, signups to Webull. But this button right here in the middle is the only one that should ever matter to you. It is the open up an IRA account. I've, of course, blurred my information off because it auto populates from when you initially sign up with the app. You scroll through it and you hit the bright blue button at the bottom. And then it takes you to this wonderful screen where your battery percentage is 40%. And it asks you whether you want a traditional IRA, a Roth IRA, rollover IRA. And it goes over 
all of the things, as long as you scroll, scroll through them, and it tells you how you have to be 59 and a half for Roth IRA, Roth IRA distributions, and it talks about the 70-year the rule for traditional IRAs, which we'll get into later. You scroll through the terms, and you hit accept, and then you scribble your name like a doctor in the pretending thing that you actually put effort into signing your name to it, and then you hit I agree, and then another magical screen pops up with... And it says your IRA has been submitted or your application. And here is the actual screenshot from my account. It took a total of seven or eight minutes. So to sum up all of that, what's important to me about Weeble is the fact that it takes less than three minutes. And if you see, saw me, I had to block out some of my information. In less than three minutes, you can sign up to Webull and you can open up a IRA account. And there's essentially two kinds of IRA accounts that are on there. One is a traditional account. The other one is a Roth. And to sum up what one you should get, if you are a middle to high income earner, you need to do a traditional IRA because there are tax advantages right now to opening a traditional IRA. And in most municipalities in the United States, you can deduct some of your purchases or all your purchases off of your taxes. So you can use it as a tax hedge strategy right now if you need a reduction in your taxes. However, a lot of you are like I have been in the past and you have not made enough money to generally be concerned today about your taxes. The benefit with a Roth IRA is you pay taxes on your investments now. Then when you get to retirement age, those tax benefits, or there's no tax benefits on your account, you can withdraw money from your IRA account, and this is mandatory that you do it. Um, the government says you have to start buying crap with your Roth IRA account when you reach the, the retirement age. And I know an elderly gentleman who does this. He has several million dollars in a Roth IRA account, and it is all tax-free. And usually, well, he hasn't done it recently, but uh, for quite some time, he would come to an investment meeting that I'm a part of, and he would show us what dumb piece of crap that he had bought with his mandatory distribution. And it was usually between five and $7,000 per month that he had to take from a Roth IRA as a mandatory distribution. And interestingly enough, his Roth IRA, his Roth IRA was still growing, but it wasn't growing as fast as it used to because he was trying to spend it down as per the government requirement. And he was doing it on a tax-free basis because the money he had contributed to his account was essentially tax-free. Or it was taxed early on, so it's not taxed later. So with a Roth IRA, it's taxed now but not taxed in the future. With a traditional IRA, it's taxed in the future, but not now. And you can generally balance between, you know, whether you're in a high income earner now and future tax benefits aren't as important to you, or you're a lower income earner and um, future tax benefits, because my hope is that every single one of you end up life relatively well off. And by making those decisions now and financially planning it even if it's a freaking one dollar a day at least you're getting somewhere we did a video recently on the lottery how i knew a man that could have been very very wealthy but he spent a hundred dollars a week on the lottery and if you had the wherewithal to contribute a hundred dollars a week to a Webull account or any sort of retirement account because even though the video is sponsored by Webull, i'm not going to shy you away from opening up any sort of investment account because it's what you should be doing however if you sign up with Webull, you get two free stocks and you support uh investment joy because they're paying for this me to produce this video in my glorious office to try and get you guys to sign up to an account. So I get some benefit off of it, but ultimately you're going to be the beneficiary because you'll be investing money in the account and making money in the future. And even though things are bad right now, or at least people are scared to death right now, um, these are usually the times that I've seen from my own personal standpoint because I lived through the mortgage crisis as a real estate agent. I sold houses during the mortgage crisis. I invested during the mortgage crisis, and you know, that didn't do too bad. Um, I'm a lot better at it now. The worst thing I did was not contribute on a regular basis. So hopefully you guys can learn from my mistakes as of this point. Um, but overall, it's a very slick interface. I would say that uh, Robin Hood has a little bit of an edge on Webull. I've talked to a couple guys and they have said Webull has great technical analytics and they've just opened up margin trading. I'm not a fan of, but a lot of people like margin trading. So if you care about margin trading, you can buy stock on a platform that has not crashed on a regular basis. <laughs>
which is something that would concern me. Not to throw stones at Robin Hood, but that's kind of scary. If you have a margin account and you buy options and you get in and you you can't sell them. That's scary. But it is what it is. That's why I'm a long-term investor. But um, So once again, Robin Hood's a little bit slicker of an interface. To, for me, for a hillbilly guy, it's a little bit easier to use. So there's the benefit of Robin Hood. Webull, you can sign up to a freaking Roth IRA. It's this much, this much benefit. This is this is my hillbilly pointer mechanism. Um, there's this huge benefit to Webull and the fact that you can open up a Roth or a traditional IRA account. You can also do a rollover, which I, I can't do or haven't done, so I can't give you advice. I'm only telling you things that I can personally do or have done. And I've gone through the IRA setup account, and it's very simple. And it's something that you should be doing if you have not already done. If you already have an IRA, well, good for you guys. I'm very proud of you that you have an IRA account. But I have found that a lot of people that watch my videos do not have an IRA account. And it's something that you should do because there will be coming a point. Let's say you make some money in the stock market and you want to start a business. It is possible and we'll do videos on the series on the uh, on the channel later on. It is possible to either do a rollover conversion and then pull money out of your IRA account, or you can. There are ways to get money out of your IRA account in an emergency or a tragedy, or there are alternative means of pulling money out of an IRA account um, with minimal tax liability or minimal tax issues. And you can use it to start a business. So let's say in the future you want to start buying houses or real estate, you will have a war chest in your IRA account. That could be utilized for those kinds of investments. And the, the biggest issue that I've talked to is people say, well, I don't have the money to do it. And, you know, a vending machine can be purchased or a vending machine route or a flower shop or a uh, real estate investment company or a trailer park or a house or a duplex or triplex or quadplex or an apartment, com a large apartment complex or a condo. Any one of those expensive investments can be utilized or purchased through the use of a Roth IRA or just a traditional IRA. But you will have that money and you won't have to go out and hustle and try to find a private investor. I'm not saying you shouldn't do that, but it's nice to have options. Holy crap. I used my IRA to fund a friend of mine's house purchase and it was really cool. So my IRA um, has a little part of one of my friend's houses. Well, or maybe it's a large part. I don't know. But I used my IRA to fund that deal, and it was really freaking cool. So do me a favor. Consider signing up to Webull. Um, you can get two free stocks, and you can open up a Roth IRA account. If you want to, you can do a um, uh, margin investing or with options. I'm not a fan of those. Warning, warning. I'm not a fan of those. But you can do it should you so choose. And what I'm encouraging everybody do, to do, and it's what I am doing myself, is taking spare cash that I have and just throwing it in the market. And um, I'll show you guys what I'm invested in here. So, of course, in order to do this properly, I have to sneak in Excel. But I broke down what I've got my kids in. For the most part, I've got a couple. This one's my own pick here. Um, that's one that just, I just like, I like this one a lot. Um, A, G, and C. The rest of this is for what my kids are in. We got VU STX, which is a super low risk, uh, Vanguard long-term treasury index deal. Um, that's just kind of like a hedge against worldwide collapse and riots in the streets and Mad Max over toilet paper and things like that. It's a super low risk. And once again, the caveat here is, guys, I am not a financial guru. I just like buying stuff once in a while. My primary game is real estate, but this is what I get my kids in. So if you want to invest um, like a hillbilly laundromat owner who buys stocks for his kids and generally does pretty well with them, this is how I do it. So over here on the right, I've got, uh, I, I, what I did was I looked at five years of market growth and then took a look at the stock market. As terrible as it is today, we are down 31%. The Dow Jones is almost broke below 20,000. It could go down more. And out of this whole list, other than AGNC, it's down a ton and it's a weird MREIT. Um, don't buy this one. Just don't buy uh, AGNC unless you're like a YOLO type guy. The the dividend yield on it is phenomenal right now, so that's why I got it. But the rest of these, there's only two picks on here that are down, and I just bought into Disney the other day. Normally, I wouldn't even have Disney on this list, but I bought it for my kids the other day because um, – we want to go to Disney World next year, and I said, we can go look at our investment kids. But other than that, these over here, VB, the Vanguard Small Cap ETF, is the only one that's down. The rest of them have a decent five-year yield. If you look at the expenses, Vanguard has a very low expense ratio, meaning the money you pay for them to manage your money because you go in. 
Oh, and it says like VOO, which is the Vanguard SP 500 ETF. You're not buying one stock. You're buying a whole bunch. Of, you're buying 500 different stocks in the S&P 500, with the holdings being number one: Microsoft, Apple, Alphabet, Amazon, Facebook, Berkshire Hathaway, Johnson Johnson. So there's your toilet paper and stuff. Uh, J.P. Morgan Chase, Visa, and Procter and Gamble. So all those things considered, I really like Vanguard, but I also have iShares here, and it's done very well for me overall. Um, so these single stocks, unless you have um, a lot of money to play with. You know, I would say avoid those, even though they look really, really nice. Um, get it over into your Vanguard ETFs, and if they're more broad risk. The returns are lower, but they're much more reliable. So that's how I put money in the stock market for my kids, and there's the breakdown of the yields. Once again, be sure to like the video, and thank you for watching.